Today topic. Translational motion. Firstly we need talk about what exactly motion is. Motion is one of the key topics in physics. Everything in the universe moves. We can see many physical interactions taking place around us like a book falling. Bus moving. It might only be a small amount of movement and very very slow. But movement does happen. Don't forget that even if you appear to be standing still, the Earth is moving around the Sun. And the Sun is moving around our galaxy. So whenever a body changes its position with time, then we say the body in motion with respect to its surroundings. There are many types of motion around us. We can classify motion into three types. The translational motion, rotational motion, and vibrational motion. But in this video we learned only translational motion in detail. So let's get start. Translational motion is the motion by which a body shifts from one point in space to another. One example of translational motion is the motion of a bullet fired from a gun. <laughs> Rectilinear and curvilinear motions fall under the category of translational motion. In rectilinear motion, position, velocity, acceleration of particle moves along a straight line. Or simply we say that when body move along a straight line is called rectilinear motion. For example, march first of army, two, elevator, three, car or train moves along a straight line. If you want to learn what is speed, velocity and acceleration, watch my video on this topic. I will give link in the description box. Or you can watch it by press on the I button. Now, in curvilinear motion, position, velocity, acceleration of particle moves a curved path. Or simply we can say when a body moves along a curved path, the motion which is produced is called curvilinear motion. For example, a stone being thrown into the air demonstrates curvilinear motion. And, throwing paper airplanes, or paper darts is an example of curvilinear motion. Now, consider the following three kinds of motion, in which we illustrate the rectilinear and curvilinear motion. And you have to answer in the comments section. First a ball rotates. Two. A ball does not rotate, but slides along the floor along a circular path. Three. A ball slides along the floor along a straight path, with no rotation. Answer in the comment box. The first case is neither translational nor rectilinear motion. Why because? Each particle of the ball is traveling along a different path. Atoms of the ball which are closer to the axis have a shorter radius. While those further away have the longer radius of movement. Such a motion is not translational motion. Case 2 and 3 both have one aspect same the path followed by the different particles. Say, for instance, consider case 2. Each atom of the ball has the same radius of its path. Even though the motion is circular, the motion is known as translational. Case 2 and 3 have one main difference. Case 2 has particles of the ball following a path that is not a straight line, but a curve. Case 3 shows each particle of the ball moving in a straight line. So, Although both motions are translational, motion 2 is not rectilinear. Motion 3 is rectilinear while motion 2 is circular. The circular motion must never be confused with rotation. Rotation is not translational. Like in case 1, circular motion is totally translational. The difference is the same as between the rotation and the revolution of the Earth. Think of a planet which does not rotate but only revolves. It would travel in circles, but it would not spin. That is what translational motion is all about. 